In our next story, we discover another local artist, this one in Ocean Springs, who was hired to illustrate the cover of a book. And in the process, we find the passing of the palette from one generation to the next. My name's Ava Prisk, and I'm in eighth grade at Ocean Springs Middle School, and I'm from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. My name is Ben Prisk. I live in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, and I'm Ava's dad. I'm self-taught. I'm a self-taught artist, but I was fortunate enough to work in network television in Atlanta, starting with Turner Broadcasting, where I worked for Turner Classic Movies, and then art directed for a number of other networks, PBS Kids, Nickelodeon, that kind of thing. And then I worked for Adult Swim, Cartoon Network, where I've done the backgrounds for Squidbillies for the last 10 years, and before that, worked for the show Aqua Teen Hunger Force. One thing Adult Swim does is it, their shows aren't storyboarded. With Adult Swim, we generally do our backgrounds really large and they just cut in on it. Now, what I just inked is this is how it turned out. And uh, so, and actually, you know, it goes bump, bump, bump. So I made bump, <laughs> bump. So you got light spilling on things. It looks simple, like an idiot could do it, but really there's a lot of thought that goes into these things. And uh, people seem to like them. It's cool. Like, it's fun to, like, show them mm -hmm. off in a way. Because, like, yeah, my dad's an artist for, like, a cool TV channel. My wife uh, lives right down the street, and uh, we're family, and uh, we have three. They all are artists in their own way. Ava's more the pen to paper kind. I really like art in all shape, way, or form. I want to go to SCAD. That's just a dream. <laughs> I eventually want to like work at either Adult Swim or Cartoon Network as an animator, sort of in that range, as an artist. My name is Tom McGraw. I'm from Ocean Springs. And I approached Ava Prisk to do the cover for my book. The series is called The Starving Detectives, and it's about two brothers who are completely hopeless and inept, and they love to eat, and it's turned out much better than I thought it would. I've known Ben Prisk 25 years, and I've known all the children since they were born. They lived down the street from us, and they would come and go, and Abe was always the artist. He was always drawing. I've known Tom for a really, really, really long time, my whole life. <laughs> But I don't show a lot of my art out there, but he knows that I like to draw. Upon finishing the first book, I approached Ben Prisk about doing it because I'd known him for a long time and he's an Emmy winner. And then I saw his daughter who I've known since birth and I looked at her sketchbook and I said, this is the person to do the illustration for me. My mom told me one day, she was like, well, Tom is gonna like ask you to do something. And then he came over to my house and he like presented the thing to me. And I was like, okay. I'll do that. Your dad, I want him to do the lettering, and I want the title. Well, I'm a completely on. inept artist myself, so I did a very bad thumbnail sketch, and she looked at it and said, I can do better than this. I, of course, looked off the paper, and I just loosely sketched it, and then, like, the next day I brought it to my dad, and we worked on it, and he added the words. Is it? I didn't change her artwork at all. Yeah. I, I did not edit her artwork. I just made the lines bolder, essentially. Yeah. You know. When you see the difference between the thumbnail I made and the drawing she did, it's fantastic. She came up with like, all the food was supposed to have bites taken out of it, and you'll see it in her picture. And when an adult sees it, they see a hamburger with a bite taken out. And she actually took the burger and turned it sideways as if they could disconnect their jaw like a snake and bite this. And I, I would never have thought of that. That's what she brought to the project, it was imagination. It was fun doing the project because I worked with my dad on it. And um, 
it's hard grasping the fact that it's on a book. Like sometimes it's weird to me that something that I did is in the public and it's just kind of strange but fun for me. Yeah, it makes me want to do more things like that, just put myself out there a little bit more. Surprising to me, I've written it for adults, but like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it actually appeals to much younger people and they enjoy it because it's not written down to them. It's completely ironic. Everything about it is turning back to younger people and it really wasn't meant to be that way and it's Ava brought that to the fore. She was the prime mover in that. And I'm grateful to her because I would have never thought it would appeal to a younger audience like it has. I think all children have an inclination for visual arts. I like how children communicate. I, I, I hate when they lose it, you know, because some of them do. Uh, Ava's fortunate enough, whether or not she knows it, that she retained it. And then retaining it to someone who's my age is even rarer, I think. So uh, I can't tell you the moment I knew that she had great visual acuity or, or whatever for art, but she certainly had a mind that was unusual and beautiful and funny and quirky. And you gotta have a mind first if you're gonna make good art. I definitely wanna stay with her and her dad because as a team, they're great. Ben has the experience and she has just that child's gift that we lose as we grow older. Sometimes I just find myself doodling like without just like any thought. I mean, sometimes I don't feel like drawing at all and I'm just not in that mood, but that's very rare. And it's like so satisfying when I like get something right. And I just love to have that feeling. So I keep on like trying for that feeling and it just, just never stops. <laughs>